What's up, floor gang? Okay. What's up, floor gang? Okay, it fell again. You know what? Maybe I should do the intro without the hairband and then, then yeah, yeah, then put it on. Yeah. What's up, floor gang? Today I'm gonna show you how you can use a PS4 controller on your PC. If you do end up finding this video helpful or entertaining for that matter, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the bell notification icon. I'm not gonna promote any longer because I'm not a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest here. Most of the games that are kind of recent are gonna support the PlayStation 4 controller out of the box. So what you need to do to play them is simply uh, plug in, this is the micro USB cable that you use to charge a PlayStation 4 controller into the controller and then plug the other end into your PC. Now I could have screen recorded this part, but everyone on the internet has trust issues um, and I can't blame them for it. So yeah, um, as you can see, Hollow Knight moves as he should. I can move, I can jump with X. Yeah, the standard gaming controls, man. Yeah. But, if you try to play an older title, like I'm using the example of Batman Arkham City here, which is one of the best games ever made, the controller just turns into a deadbeat dad and just stops working all of a sudden. Yeah, you can you can see it's still plugged in. Um, yeah, it's, it doesn't work. It doesn't even work on the menus. I can't do anything. So, there is a workaround uh, to that, and it's quite amazing how well it actually works. I'm gonna show you that now. So, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video, which is gonna lead you to this page right here, ds4windows.com. This is a program which basically emulates your PS4 controller as an Xbox 360 controller for your PC. So, just click on download now. It's gonna take you to a GitHub link. Download the latest version at the time of this recording. It's 1.4.52. Yeah, it's gonna be downloaded. It's gonna be a zip file, so you don't even need any other program, but I do have WinRAR installed, so just extract it like you would with any other program. Once it's extracted, go to the folder where you have extracted it, run it, it's gonna ask where it should create profiles. I'm gonna, pers I'm personally gonna select the personal folder right here. Um, yeah, and then just start by clicking on the DS4 Windows app. One thing I want to mention is if you don't have a DS4 uh, driver installed, it's gonna pop up a window. Just click on install DS4 driver. It's gonna install it automatically. You don't even need to download any other program or anything like that. Okay, so once you're back in this interface right here, go to the controllers tab and take the PlayStation 4 controller again, plug it in and then Plug the other end back into your PC, just like before. Yes, and now the PlayStation controller pops up on the screen. It's gonna tell you the battery status, the status, how you're connected. There is a method which you can use for connecting wirelessly, which is a Bluetooth method, but the connection is gonna be as unstable as your ex-girlfriend. So yeah, I don't recommend you do that. So now, do not close the application, minimize it and then browse to the game you want to play. Now as you can see, even from the loading screen it says press start now. Um, it, the light bar is also going to uh, light up on the controller uh, to tell you that it's active. Yeah, let's just pre press options, it's going to be start. Yeah, let's just get into the game and I'm going to show you that it actually works. As you can see, I can walk around, I can glide, I can basically do what Batman does. Yeah, grapple boost works incredibly yeah there's no problems with that so yeah that's basically how you use a playstation 4 controller with any game out there so yeah that's how you use a ps4 controller on your pc stuff like this makes me glad you probably won't be needing this for most of the recent games i can't say all of the recent games because still some AAA game developers are not including playstation 4 controller support on windows so yeah if you liked the video and found it helpful or entertaining be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell notification icon goodbye floor gang